like I said, people think the wider you go, you're gonna get a wider back again. It's all genetics, having a wider back. Just go to wherever is comfortable for you, shoulder width and that. And then, like I said, with these ones are good because you can actually come in. And when you come in actually closer, it just works more like the thickness in the middle of your back area. And again, you just want to bring it down, chest up. You know, you can, like I said, if you get fatigued, you can go back a little bit, but not to the point where you're doing this, like rocking. Yeah. You know? So like, if your training partner's behind you, you're like head buttoning when you, <laughs> when yeah. you go back. So you pretty and much want to stay upright and really just squeeze your lats. Okay, so that's a different movement. That's going to work a different part yeah, of your back. That's more like the middle. So when you say, can you just let it go and just point to where it... I can't really. A bit like more, like out here, works like your lats, yeah. this area. In closer, would be more, say, like the middle of your yeah. back, your traps, and all down that area. So like I said, they can, you know, back in the old days, I'd say this was for width, Yeah. even though... It does make you thick. I mean, this was more for the middle thickness. Same as if you were to do seated rows wider or closer. So, yeah, we'll do that next. So, but as always, just as long as you're doing it correctly, and as you pull down, just really squeeze and focus. Like I said, you could just do this with your arms, and I'm not feeling my back at all. Yeah. So like I said, it's like squeeze your lat. Once you squeeze it. It's almost like two motions, squeeze and then pull through. Yeah. Once you get into a, doing it, you do it automatically where you'll just squeeze your lat. Well, I'm just going to get your, your elbow position and you can do it without weight just to just to show. Do, can you do a lat pull down with no weight, just really slowly, just so we can see how well, your arms like, track? Like that. Yeah, there you go. And that's what people should probably do. Do it without the bar, just so you're engaging. because yeah, you'll feel your back if you do it enough. Okay, I'm just gonna go from behind. Here we go. If you do it enough, you'll feel your back squeezing like that. And that's like I said, once you get that feel, then if you've got like a machine, maybe just put on 30 pounds, just so you feel what it's like with a little bit of weight. Then just try and keep that same feeling as you go heavy. If you start losing that feeling in your back, then you know it's going to be more arms than actually back. And can I just get get, get you to do the same thing with close group? Just no way, just... Yeah, same thing, just, you'll be here and you just... This one you're almost coming down like you're pulling like that, squeezing yeah. your elbows back and chest up so you... Like that. And so another, I guess back to the... Because I was going to say, with a normal lap pull down bar, it's got the flat section. Yeah. So would you go to touch the chest, or normally, normally as far as you can, like you bring your chest up and yeah. bring it down as far as you can. You know, sometimes you see people I can't do it with this, but I've seen people that hold the bar and they bring it down here. Yeah. You don't want to bring it right down yeah. here. Pretty much just do uh, here. And it's more your, el your final elbow position. Yeah, as long as you just get that good contraction. So what would be your um, set and rep range for lap pull downs? Uh, I'd say anywhere from 8 to 12. 8 to 12 and I always do like 4 to 5 sets on each. Wide, 4, four or 5 wide, 4 or 5 close. <laughs> Here we go, use trouble. <laughs> Yes, um, and I've, I've already, um, so what about um, a, a supinated or reverse grip? Yeah, you know, not you know, bad if you do, I don't know if I could do it on this one, but yeah. Well, it's almost like the same as that, doing it this way. Just, like I said, also just works, yeah. Probably if I had like a normal bar, I'd probably be in here. But, it's, you know, that handle in the middle is pretty much the same, but yeah, same sort of thing, you just pull it down. I'd probably get more of a squeeze if my hands were that little bit closer, but just what I said works to thickness as well. Like I said, this was like a normal, like I said, round bar. I'd probably be in a bit closer with just like an inch in between. Same sort of thing, pulled it down, but you're just pulling it that way. And do you do that much or not? Really? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I've always done it. Yeah. And what, <laughs> if you can't do all that, what about imaginary lat syndrome? Yeah, that's yes. <laughs> Just leave your coat hanger in your shirt and walk like <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And which is weird because I do see a lot of people walk <laughs> like that and they don't have one bit of back muscle on them and yet, you know, back in the day, Dorian and I saw some of the biggest backs in the world and to see them walk, they're just like, like this. But then the guy weighing 120 going through the shopping centre. <laughs> there you go, and I'm like, so don't walk like a fucking idiot is what I'm trying to say. You look like a retard. I don't know why whoever thought they started to look like that. I actually even saw it the other day. I was out somewhere and you can tell the guy went to the gym like because he had that look didn't really have any muscle but in his mind was he um did he have, how many jumpers did he have on no he had a tank top on oh really which was even worse because you could see he didn't have anything at least somebody if they have a jumper on you might think well maybe he's got some muscle under there this one had the tank top on and no arms no but he had the walk and he's, oh, I think I know that guy. He, he, he told me they're that, everywhere. Uh, no, I think he told me that um, you ran off. He, uh, no. you're, you're, you're intimidated. No, yeah. Well, I've seen it actually too. I've actually seen it where I see someone just normal. Then if I've walked into a place, all of a sudden they puff yeah. up. Oh, competition. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. Lee's not that big. Just I, I, I had him covered. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, just relax, guys. It's yeah, like a, yeah. You look like an idiot walking like that, so don't do it. Yeah, like I said, some of the biggest backs in the world don't walk like that, so there's no excuse for you to be walking like that. Or even when they got the, you got the imaginary lap, but then you also got the imaginary leg. The guys who have skinny legs, but yet they walk like that, but they're flaring their legs out. I'm like, you got legs like a fucking Ethiopian. What the fuck are you doing? Well, you always question <laughs> why you're training and and. Um you know, why you're putting in such hard work. Well, those guys, you know, why not just walk like you've done it? And, and Exactly. Um, as long as you believe it. Yeah. yeah. And then but, people look at you, but they think, oh. No, but, like if you had the muscle and you walk like that, you could probably go, oh, he's got a lot of muscle. Fuck, he must be muscle bound. But when you walk like that, you don't have anything. You're a fuckwit. But I think that's just <laughs> been the, the best advice for people, just especially guys that are starting out it's not about how much weight no, especially on just feeling it feel feel the contraction feel the back because like i said sometimes even when i come here and demonstrate like just demonstrating it yeah because i'm going slower and squeezing yeah. it i feel it more sometimes doing this than when i'm at home training it because sometimes i'll even forget and just start pulling and not really contracting but because i'm contracting on the video i can go lighter and actually feel it more so leave the ego when it comes to back at the door and i guess that's like a, a like a, a little adverse advertisement for training at home some guys you know feel mm -hmm. that they go to a gym i've got to lift well, heavy I weights said, i think some of my best workouts have always been at home like when i was in america and had the equipment there and even at home now because i think i'm more focused you're not worried about if anyone's looking at you you're not worried about what yeah. you have to lift you're just focused on doing the exercise and actually feeling the muscle actually get a really good workout because I said you're not trying to impress anyone you're not thinking about for well, who's looking at me yeah. to put more weight on you're just feeling it and squeezing it and that's I said you're just focused on that your mind's not on anything else so yeah and if you want to go for pure strength in that movement well really chin ups oh, chin ups yeah but even then you've got to do them with strict form oh, like yeah. not the you can't where you yeah, get people yeah, where yeah. they're doing like frog kicks and yeah. you know, it, was <laughs> yeah. like, it was like it was like there were frogs swimming trying to yeah yeah i've seen some yeah some creative weird, yes weird ways to get up there it's almost like they're jumping off something to, yeah we've all seen them you know what we're talking about don't be that guy or girl yeah